everyone, Glitchy here, and today we are going to work on part one of Building Sanctuary. Uh, mostly we're going to be focusing on salvaging and scrapping things uh, to make room for new and awesome stuff because that's totally what we need. We're also going to be moving the cook pot and the chem table so that way they are going to be closer to everything. Uh, can I just like... Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. So, part of Fallout 4 is the fact that you can pretty much scrap anything, which is really, really awesome. You can um, pick up anything you want, and you can now scrap it for various products. Um... We're going to pick this up and move it. As you can see, it's pretty simple to adjust how everything works. I want to bring it here. We'll put it right around here so that way it's nice and close. The worst. <clears throat> to get into your workshop mode when you are in a settlement, all you have to do is press and hold down the B button. If you are on PC, as I am, you can clean up the town, make everything all pretty, build beds, build benches, water sources, various security measures. Um, all of it does come with needing abilities, so various perks. This one. Um. Let's see. The green outline is, of course, uh, the edge of your settlement, so you can't really do anything beyond that, which is kind of odd for some of these things that go through everything. Mm hmm. All right. Let's see here. Whoop whoop! I'm stuck. Now, when you're out and about traveling through the wild open, venturing through the wasteland, uh, something to keep in mind is steel is very common. You don't really need to pick up a whole lot of stuff that makes steel. As you can see, steel is pretty common. You can scrap just about everything from chairs to logs, picket fences, mailboxes, cars, whole ruined houses. As I've said, you can pretty much scrap anything. The workshop allows you to hold a lot of things. This is, I didn't want to do that. Oh well. So you can store all your junk in there to break it down later. There is a perk that when you break down things, it gives you more of the rare items, such as screws and springs. That is a really good perk to have when you're breaking down stuff, because <clears throat> for the most part, you're not going to be getting those things normally. So 
So today we're going to be looking, working on salvaging. Moving minor things around. I've lost the chem table. Oh, there it is. There it is. For me, it's just more efficient to kind of have everything all together when I come into Sanctuary. Sanctuary is not the only settlement that you can build up. There are other settlements that you can discover. Um, um, am I going the right way? I think so. Yeah, here we go. I'm kind of just ploppy right there for now. A lot of these items can also be used to make various, that looks like it's still alive, um, upgrades as well for certain items. When you go into your armor or weapon workshops, you will see that you can break down other weapons that you don't have the ability to repair weapons or armor in this one. Instead, you can break down the say you have 10 pipe pistols, you can break down nine of them and use whatever you get to upgrade your pipe pistol. Okay, apparently that one, bye bye. Um, this can help with your item management. I know for me, I am a hoarder. I'm straight up a hoarder, and I know it, and I love it, but it can be very hard to manage your inventory in that kind of <clears throat> sense. As you'll notice, uh, houses that are not ruined will not get fully highlighted, but you can go in and get rid of things individually. Hmm, so you can't really, maybe it's just I'm not. I mean, this stuff might be rusty, but I guess it's okay. I like going through and getting rid of everything right away, just so that way I know how much space I really have to work with and things along those lines before going in and starting to build things. Some items are obviously still okay and others are not. Let's see. Some things I just kind of want to get rid of and build my own such as sinks and fridges and things of that nature just so they look as new as possible I mean it's kind of hard to look new when the houses are still kind of run down the nice thing about sanctuary is you do have a good framework to begin with with houses Also, instead of selling items, um, you can break them down, 
such as, uh, ooh, okay, why can't I highlight you? Hmm, interesting. For example, you have pre-war money. Pretty common in old time registers that you can find. You can either sell it for caps if you need caps, or you can break it down and use it for cloth. There's all sorts of hidden stuff all over the place that you can scrap. Now, as you can see, we have a Uh, bar above at the top of the screen people food water power defense etc etc um, these are stats that look at uh, that that are looked at when determining you know what uh, level of happiness dwellers have in your settlements So for example, there are no beds, there's no defense, no water, and very little food in this settlement. Meaning, our people not going to do so hot here, they're not going to be so happy. But if we start building defense items, settlement uh, beds, various things like that, they'll start becoming happy, they'll feel a lot more uh, safe and secure. I had it highlighted. And now it's gone. Okay, we'll keep the radiator. As I said, steel, pretty common, wood, pretty common. Plastics are uh, a little bit less common, but still fairly. Fairly common. If you scrap something and there was something inside of it that you might have missed, the contents will be transferred to the workbench, so you don't really have to worry about that too, too much. Um, you don't have to start by salvaging everything. Uh, as I've said, I just like doing that because I am a little OCD. I like to make sure I know where everything is, how everything's going to go before I really start getting into building things. That's kind of just how I am. But you can start by building the items right away. In Sanctuary, talking to Sturgis will give you various quests. Look, see we found a cap stash here. We can't select it, we're not gonna scrap it. We can just pop out of our workshop menu, pick up the stash, pop right back into the workshop. Now when you're out in the uh, in the wastes, things you probably want to look for at picking up is anything with adhesive, circuitry, concrete, as you can see, that's the first kind of thing that we've gotten a lot of concrete from, uh, individually. Things along those lines that you're not really going to find in these rundown houses.
doing this a little erratically. Oopsies. We are making some progress. Making some progress. It'd be really nice if we could, like, hmm, trim these bushes, get rid of them. Maybe that's something that can come later on, and I just, you know, am unaware. So see, we have a cigar. We can scrap it for cloth. Same thing with cigar boxes, cigarette boxes, loose cigarettes. As I said, you don't have to scrap everything. I'm just doing it to be kind of OCD and build things how I want them to look. One of the first quests Sturgis will give you is to build some nice beds. So that way people have some place to sleep. Apparently you can only scrap bathtubs. Not shower stalls. That's interesting. Did not know that. Okay. We went through this house already. is our old house so I'm gonna pretty much leave that for last at this point until we can um get good <laughs> at building things get some skill looks like you cannot scrap the counters so that's a good starting point of where you want to build things up I don't know if you'll be able to go in and like repair the broken shelves or anything like that. Um, as I've said, this is going to be a learning process for both of us, or all of us, since I'm hoping there's more than just one other person watching. Hmm, something dropped here. And I think it might be too small for me to select. Hmm. We might have to go in and just grab it. Another way. You don't have to start building in Sanctuary if you <clears throat> have uh, gained access to another settlement. You can start building there. Um, the only reason why Sanctuary is kind of the first place is because you do get those quests by Sturgis. And they kind of help you through the process of building a settlement and what you need when building a settlement. Fire extinguishers are good to pick up. They give asbestos. Uh, you might be thinking, well, asbestos is bad for you. Why would you want to pick that up? Uh, it is still used. So it is something you want to pick up. Oh look, another cap stash. You would think I never went through this uh, 
this area. Very thoroughly. I've said before, you can literally scrap anything. Your ability to scrap things is quite large. Um, we don't want a grill in the bedroom or in the office or anything like that. the exit. As you can see, once you scrap a house, a full house, a ruined house, You do have uh, the base still left, which is quite nice. You can just start building a new house right on top of it or something else that you might want. Such as you can put all of your various workshops, such as the chems workshop, the cooking pot, armor workshop, anything like that there. You can build defenses right around it to ensure that, say, your power armor is not stolen. So there's quite a lot of creativity and things of that nature. Um, you do need bone for some things. You can get it from mole rat teeth or from collecting skulls. Brahmin skulls, regular skulls, spines, um, in the wasteland. Uh, it looks like you can't scrap a skeleton. So I don't quite know what we're going to be doing about Mr. Skeleton in the, uh, in the living room, kitchen area there. That could get a little awkward. Just, just saying. Oh, there's a safe here. Well, that's an easy way to open up a safe. It's just kind of scrap it. And then everything gets sent to your workshop. That's pretty cool. So if you don't have the ability to lockpick something, you can just go in and scrap it. I think for the most part we have pretty much cleaned up everything. I probably missed some houses along the way, some sort of signs. Um, there's probably no way that you can fully scrap an area just because um, there was a lot of destruction. Always good to attempt, though, I suppose. One of the big things I like doing is definitely taking down the ruined houses just because those are kind of an eyesore. They definitely, uh, you know, take away from everything, and bringing them down opens up the area quite nicely. You can get all the way down in here, which is really nice. You can clean up parts of this lake, maybe, uh, I don't know if you can stop a lake from having radiation, but you can definitely just clean up all the crap that's in it. Which is also nice. I mean, you're not really going to need any of this stuff. You don't, it's not in a house or anything like that. So just be aware that you do get radiation when you are in deep water. 
There is a perk called Aqua Girl, uh, might be Aqua Boy if you're playing a male character, that allows you to swim through deep water without any sort of mm, radiation. Which is totally awesome, as you can see. You do get quite a bit of radiation from being in the deeper water. I wish we could get rid of some of these, like, hedges. Pains in the booty. Pains in the booties. Okay, it looks like we've pretty much scrapped everything that I'm going to be scrapping today. So thank you for joining me for part one of Building Sanctuary. Um, going through the scrapping phase. On part two, we are going to start talking to Sturgis and we're going to follow through the Building Sanctuary quest lines. And see how that goes. Thank you for joining me and I will see you for part two. Bye everyone.